Hello, it's Maggie. I'm looking at the chart of the day and the new moon chart for uh, the moon in Taurus, 21 degrees. The sun's in 21 degrees, Taurus co-joining the moon, 21 degrees, Taurus. So today I'm using time passages. I don't know if this started recording or not. But anyway, I'm talking about the new moon in Taurus at 21 degrees. So I will share my screen. I'm using time passages today. So let me just share it and we can go over it together. The colors are bold, so it's easy to see, as you can see up here. The sun and moon are at 21 degrees in Taurus. So where you have it, what sign you have it in, what house you have it in, will color, color it in your chart. For me, <clears throat> as an Aries, I have it in my second house of uh, money, material assets, and what you value. And with Uranus there, Uranus is just kind of all over the place, you know, just so many appointments, and I seem to be getting a lot of them confused and just a lot of, it's a lot of restless energy, a lot of restless energy. So you may be trying to start a business or finish a business and just in the mix, just kind of, kind of a fragmented feel to it. Uranus is sudden, unexpected changes. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and it's squaring Saturn in Uranus. Uh, so that's air. <clears throat> that's air and it's squaring off. So, you know, I'm just, this isn't all about me, but I'm, I am going to so many different astrology conferences, which, which is totally Uranus. Um, and, and also Saturn and Aquarius, and they're squaring off. So there's just uh, so many of them at once that I'm sort of letting go of the mundane day-to-day -day life details, which, which is so second house, you know. But it's also um, luxury. Um, the five senses, you know, eat, drink, and be merry, go have cake, let them eat cake. <laughs> yeah, so... I'm going to kind of go around the wheel. I will be reading the Sabian symbol for the um, 21 degrees. But <clears throat> Mercury went into Gemini. Um, we've got it at 12 degrees Gemini. And Venus as well is in Gemini. And the North Node is in Gemini. So we've got a lot going on in Gemini and Taurus. All up here in the top of the chart. Mars is in Cancer, 11 degrees. So um, that too is so much chatter and communication and appointments. And I, I believe everyone is just catching up now after the whole COVID lockdown and everything. The masks are coming off and people are playing catch up with everything. And it's, it's just a lot and all at once, it seems like. Because um, Gemini is very fast and quick mentally, you know. And, um, Venus is the planet of attraction, so for Geminis, they're all looking good, sounding good, and it is sextile to, to uh, both in this particular chart. It's, sorry, I was distracted by a dog barking. Gemini is sextile to Aries, so yeah, that just, that air stimulates fire and fire stimulates air so the same with uh, jupiter these green lines are sextiles it's easy flowing harmonious aspects we have that are um yeah pluto pluto and capricorn likes pisces and water in uh, neptune neptune and pisces and neptune and pisces likes gemini so that's a switch. That's a, that's a switch from from where it was, from where it was on, before <laughs> when everything was on the cardinal angles. It's yeah, it's rather pleasant that way. And there's beautiful, beautiful trines going on in the same element for Taurus. You know, they, they just have it going on with the money, with the business, with keeping it together. <laughs> Keeping it together, they probably don't have scattered energies, although with Uranus, they may just kind of frazzle their nerves a bit, but pretty much they're very, very steadfast and 
together when it comes to assets, money. Um, looking good, sounding good. They love luxury material. They just they just have a knack with um, you know with with business sense, business sense that other signs you know are certainly lacking, especially if if they have no earth. So this beautiful earth trine between Pluto, Pluto and Capricorn, earth sign is trining. It's training uh, Taurus, so it just gives you even more Earth energy. I mean, God, there's 10 fixed planets, seven Earth planets. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a lot. Three planets in fire, four in air. That's a lot of mental sti stimulation, and only two in water. But the fixed is like, unmutable, unbending, just, I, well, with Pluto, it can be rigid. It can be, you know, just my way or the highway. And we have a lot of that we're seeing. But um, <clears throat> this is just a generalized, generalized chart reading. So, oh, what else is going on? And Mars in Cancer, Jupiter, of course, remains in Aquarius 29 degrees. It's a critical degree. And Saturn is 13 degrees Aquarius. Yeah, so I'm just going to read the Sabian symbol. I'm not going to really go around the wheel because, as you can see, everything's right here. <laughs> everything's right here. It's like a bowl leading, leading to Pluto, which is right here. Pluto is, this is the bowl. <clears throat> and, uh, the ruler of the ascendant is the sun. However, you know, it, it, it depends where you have Taurus. This is just a chart of the day. So it depends where you have Taurus. But at 21 degrees Taurus, this is um, the Sabian symbols with Dr. Mark and Edmund Jones and clairvoyant Ellie Weasel. That she saw, they wrote these symbols and she saw the visions and he wrote them out. So it was like an astrologer, and a very famous astrologer and a clairvoyant. So 21 degrees Taurus is a finger pointing in an open book. This is a symbol of the rectification of experience on the side of ends and meanings and of the fine discrimination of which man is capable. There here, it, there is here a dramatiz dramatization of the racial wisdom as this becomes incarnate in conscious individuality. Wow, is that ever going on in our society? Purpose and interest sharpen the attention, which in turn quickens the insight, insight and permits an outreach into events, which thereupon are ordered by the self's potentials. The key word is confirmation. Confirmation. When positive, the degree of sensitiveness to the enduring significance of each special complex of human affairs, and when negative, a loss of integrity through blind obedience to others, and a tendency to do things by rote. Yeah, that's the, uh, so it's sustaining ideal, efficient, generalizing, social, experimental. And that's what's going on with the whole, <coughs> the whole new age of Aquarius, you know, it's, it's like, it's like a social, I wouldn't say experiment, but yeah, we're, we're trying new things, new social justice and new inventions and new everything, a whole new different way of looking and communicating with others. And especially with this trying, uh, Saturn trying Gemini. Saturn trying Mercury, it's, it's yeah, it's some serious stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good new moon. Um, make, form an intention. I'll probably try to get out of at least water in the yard. I don't have a whole lot of earth. I don't, I don't have any. All, the only earth I have is Chiron up in uh, Capricorn. So I need to, that's why I'm wearing earth colors. <laughs> I dress according to the moon. And um, it just kind of helps to bring that element into your being if, if you're lacking an element. Um, one way one way you can do it is with color.
more stones, you know. Um, yeah, this is a amber, Taurus color. I always associate orange or brown, you know, earth tones, tan. Um, yeah, so just um, do something earthy. <laughs> I'm, you know, God, I have a mountain of paperwork, office paperwork, which it is something I absolutely hate doing. I hate doing, I need to just, by the time I get to it, I'll probably just end up tossing most of it. I take care of the most urgent things. But, you know, it's an area you put out the fires and then uh, the mundane day-to-day -day details so, um, are just tedious to me. So, <clears throat> Yeah, so anybody, do something earthy. So set an intention is what I was saying. Set an intention for the next six months. Um, and that could be anything. You know, maybe you want to make more money. Maybe you want a new, new career. Maybe you want to change the way you make money. Maybe you don't even care about money. You want to go back to the land or purchase a piece of land or... Um, poach on land, <laughs> whatever it is, whatever it is. Um, yeah, but uh, with the square, you definitely are, can be innovative and have good fortune and good luck because lucky Jupiter, the king, uh, the great benefic, is in Aquarius at 29 degrees. So it's great for innovation. And especially with technology, with your social interactions, putting yourself out there, whatever it may be. Um, certainly there's good fortune with that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, stop the share. Yeah, so if you do, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm sorry I haven't been putting that many videos out lately. I've just been really, really playing catch up. Um, and soon Norwalk is coming up. And it's going to be a five-day astrology conference, Northwest Astrology Conference. And it is going to be Zoom. It's going to be online, virtual. So if anyone's interested, just go to Norwac. I think it's nor norwac.org. And it's, it's, it's def definitely something to catch. But it's a five-day five nonstop conference. Anyway, everybody take care. And uh, I'll talk to you later.